Hi gorgeous, welcome back to my channel. This video is gonna be a little different. You guys said that you love the Sorry Hacks video so much because it showed you what you were doing wrong and then how to fix it. And so in today's video, I'm gonna show you three common mistakes that I see that I feel like could make your Sorry Draping game a little better and then how to fix them. So let's get started. So the first two tips I'm going to share, I feel like they are applicable regardless of your body type and the style you're going for because it's going to make you more comfortable and it's going to make your Nivy drape look that much more structured and beautiful. So let's go through those two first. First up is the pleats. So as you can see, the pleats are really to the left of my body. And as I've mentioned in so many other videos, what you want to do is take these pleats. Now they're not staggered. I always recommend staggering your pleats. So once you're happy with the pleats, you want to just tuck them in to the right of your belly button. So the leftmost pleat has to be to the right of your belly button. Not here, not here, like right here because, and it's going to look a little bit off center to you, but that means the pleats are going to be beautifully centered. And then you want to tuck them in so they're not, they're not dragging on the floor because that's going to lead to you feeling very uncomfortable and not being able to walk without feeling like your entire sari is coming undone. All right, so I'm just gonna tuck that in. And then what you're gonna do is take your hip pleats like you normally would and tighten that area and tuck it in. And any extra fabric here, you wanna just fold forward and tuck it in. Now, as you can see, the bottom is already looking so much better. And so making sure that your pleats are at the center of your body and making sure that the bottom of your sari is lightly grazing the floor and not chilling because that's gonna lead you to feel like it's everything's coming undone and it might come undone if you step on it. So that takes care of the bottom. The drape is already looking amazing. My next tip, it's it has two steps to it. Number one, and I think this is applicable to everybody, when you do your pin for the palu pleats, you don't want to put it here because as you can see, it's kind of like coming forward and it's like I have to continuously like do this, right? You want to take this pin and put it at the back, right behind the shoulder or even like down here and you can get someone else to do that or if you can do it, great. The second tip is applicable for those times that you don't mind showing a little bit more skin. So there are certain events and places that I go to, I want a wider pleat here so that it covers more skin. But I think that it looks better when this is more structured and it's the width of your shoulders. So really getting your palu to look structured and neat um, really depends on how wide your pleats are and you can customize this to what you're comfortable with and looks good for your body type but i just feel like when it's falling off like this it doesn't look as put together I really wanted to share these three common mistakes because I feel like anytime someone tells me that they're uncomfortable in a sari, it's usually one of these three mistakes that leads to you feeling like the sari is gonna come undone or that as soon as you move, everything's going to fall out. And obviously that's gonna look very messy and you're gonna be uncomfortable. So just changing these three things, I feel like can take your look from not being comfortable to being super confident and comfortable because everything is in its place, nothing's going to come undone, and you can really move freely and be confident in the sari, which is what I think every woman should feel when they wear one. So I hope this helps and I hope you try out these tips. Again, I think the pleats being in the middle, not letting it trail, and the pin going behind your shoulder are things that everyone can try. And then altering the you know width of your palu can really change up the look. And if you are going to go for wider pleats, I would just say make sure the uh, the safety pin is 
behind your shoulder. If there are any other tips or tricks that you use that you'd like to share with the community, leave it in the comment box below and I will see you in a future video.